Croy Bierman judge, me and Kim are like broke broke, allow me to, please. Croy Bierman is once again pleading with the judge to not allow his estranged wife Kim Zalshik to impede his efforts to sell their property. He insists that they must do so as soon as possible so they may move into separate homes and protect their children from the trauma of their poisonous relationship. According to the former NFL player's latest court documents, which TMZ was able to obtain, Kim recently tried to delay a decision on whether to immediately try to sell their enormous Georgia property. The former NFL star believes that Kim is to blame for this. Croy is once again emphasizing the urgent need to sell this property, citing their growing debts and financial difficulties, but this time, KB expresses it a little more bluntly. In his petition, he states that the parties to this action are financially destitute, largely related to S. reckless spending habits and love for online gambling. Oof. Yes, that is Croy accusing Kim directly of being the cause of their difficulties. Additionally, he claims that the IRS has a lien on the house for $1.1 million in unpaid taxes. Croy also lists numerous lawsuits filed by creditors seeking payment. In the documents, Croy claims that he and Kim don't really have much left to their names and that their property is the last real thing of worth that they can sell. However, he claims that Kim is trying to slow down the divorce process and is making it impossible for them to move on. Additionally, he claims that the continual arguing between them is bad for their children, adding that the toxicity enveloping the marital home is extremely detrimental to the mental and emotional well-being of the children. Time is running short because, according to Croy, a foreclosure is imminent, and he wants to try and take advantage of any equity they may still have in the home to cover the damage and find them separate housing. Croy is essentially pleading with the court to grant his request while on his hands and knees.